Mm. I am so sad and so disappointed that we've got to this place where we are under pressure to pass a bill because of the primacy of the other place that is not as good as the one that we actually amended. And it seems to me that the government does not understand what it's done in stripping out some of the safeguards that we put in. And I think this will come to haunt MPs because people will not forget the campaign to actually uh, stop the sewage discharges into our rivers. And also, some people did get concerned about the Office for Environmental Protection. I think this won't be forgotten. And I would argue, and I know the Noble Lord, the Minister, said that this wasn't true, but the government has legitimised the sewage discharges that would be happening from now on. There is no timetable, there are no targets. And quite honestly, it seems that the government just doesn't understand the pressure that is happening from grassroots. It's dog walkers and fishing enthusiasts and surfers against the sewage and wild swimmers who have seen this and really care about it. And in fact, we have just returned to the 1970s version of ourselves, which was the dirty man of Europe. I also hope that the government will now admit the deliberate confusion that it put forward about the cost of how to stop any further discharges happening. The figure of, what was it? Was it 60 billion or was it 600 billion? that the government put forward was an absolutely outrageous figure. And, of course, they quickly withdrew it when people actually started to check. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the government could loan the money to the water companies to put in the infrastructure that we need to actually prevent discharges in a relatively short space of time. But, of course, it would mean that those water companies could not pay their investors and their... Um, their senior people, their shareholders, they could not pay them dividends until that debt is paid off. And if we had a tough regulatory system, the scandal would never have been able to escalate the way it has. And it's been a failure of the government, of Ofwat and the Environment Agency. And unfortunately, the Environment Bill does nothing to deal with our relatively toothless system of enforcement. Now, I had hoped that we could pressure the government um, even more, and quite honestly, if any votes are put this afternoon, I can't give up. I'm going to vote for them, because I think that the government still has not achieved what we hoped we could achieve and what I think the general public wants us to achieve, which is a cleaner Britain. And so I am hoping that at some point the government will come forward with more safeguards. But at the moment, I'm not holding my breath. And as I say, I will vote for any amendments that are put forward. Mm.